What's up everybody? Andy from StarWars.com here again at Lucasfilm headquarters. This week we saw Kanan and Sabine take on a whole crew of Mandalorians and the Protector of Concord Dawn, and now I'm going to give you a look at how it all came together. This is Rebels Recon. <laughs> Looking for a new hyperspace route, Sabine suggests a shortcut through the Mandalorian colony of Concord Dawn. However, the Rebels attempt at diplomacy with the Mandalorians fails, and Hera is severely wounded. How is she? Her vital signs have stabilized. She is going to make it. Vowing vengeance, Sabine and Kanan head to the Mandalorian base and come face to face with Fen Rao. Why would I fight the Empire when obviously destroying you is so much easier? Invoking the code of single combat, Sabine defeats Fen, allowing Kanan to capture him and ensuring the Rebels safe passage. Till I give the word, there is to be no mention of the Rebels, and their ships are to be granted safe passage through our system. This week, Sabine called upon her past to take down a group of Mandalorians. I talked with cast and crew not only about her story moving forward, but what the Mandalorians have been up to since the Clone Wars. Check it out. We get to see more of Sabine's story in Protector of Concord Dawn. Is there anything else you can tell us right now? What I love about Sabine's story is unfolding. We're getting more and more bits about her history, where she comes from, and kind of why she left the Imperial Academy, and her connection to larger Mandalorian factions we've heard about. Sabine being a Mandalorian, we wanted to get more into the story of who she is and where she comes from. This episode kind of starts us down that path. You start to understand where Sabine's mother's affiliation was. I would argue that Sabine's mother's in the throne room when Pre Vizsla gets killed and Darth Maul takes over. We're just at the tip of the Mandalorian iceberg when it comes to Sabine's history. It really builds on a lot of exploration that Dave and I did back during the Clone Wars. He had this rather elaborate tapestry in mind of how the various Mandalorian clans connect to one another and what the tensions may have been in the timeline leading up to the events of the Clone Wars. Can you explain more about exactly what house and clan represent within the Mando culture. It's all structured kind of like, an, like a pyramid structure to me. There was a ruler of Mandalore. The ruler of Mandalore has for themselves the protectors and they make up these king's guard and that maintains balance within this warrior culture. Below that there are separate houses. Houses are like the big faction. There would be house Kree's which is Satine, house Vizsla and beneath them they have clans. Multiple clans will work under a house. So they're like smaller families. Ren is one of these families that is actually allied with Vizsla. We learned that Sabine is House Ren Clan Vizsla, and that's really important for fans of the Clone Wars. Have you gotten a chance to see any of the episodes from that series? Dave said, you got a lot of Mando stuff coming up. He was like, you got to do your homework. I was like, no, tell me. Like, what can I watch to sort of have a better understanding before we record this? So he told me which episodes would serve me well to watch. I realize, I, I understand the importance of that Vizsla name. <laughs> a lot happened with the Mando. Mandalorian people in the Clone Wars, but this is the first time we've seen them in this era. What has happened with them since we last saw them? The untold story of the end of the Clone Wars would have centered on the tensions on Mandalore and would have left the planet in a certain condition. After the end of the Clone Wars, Mandalore was very likely occupied by the Republic, and that became the Empire. And because Mandalore has a lot of political power in the Senate and also are known as a military power, the Empire probably has like a soft occupation, meaning they probably found someone they could control within Mandalorian society or leadership and put them in charge. We're thinking how does Mandalore deal with the Empire and how does the Empire deal with Mandalore and that's something that we're gonna get into. <laughs> I know, but Chopper, dude, you're still watching it. Really? Chopper, I can still hear you watching it. So every week, I take your questions to the Lucasfilm Story Group's Pablo Hidalgo for answers. But when I emailed him this morning, he said he was out of office. That's not stopping me. Right now, we are en route to Skywalker Ranch to see if we can track him down. Let's go. There he is. Pablo, finally found you. Hey. hey, I've got a question. What's going on? 
So Darth Cinema wants to know, were Leia's ships from the newest episode hammerhead cruisers from Knights of the Old Republic? If so, nice callback. Well, there's two ways to answer that, right? From the perspective of the universe, what are those things? We think they are more or less modern ships, but they were deliberately designed in an old style, a throwback to a different time of shipbuilding. But then from the outer universe perspective, yeah, they were absolutely a callback to Knights of the Old Republic. There's a lot of fans of that game involved in production, so whenever we can kind of make a nod to that and it makes sense, don't be surprised if we do so. Nice. Thanks, Pablo. No problem. Well, that was fun. Got any questions about the Protector of Concord, Dawn, or anything else about Star Wars Rebels? Tweet it to at Star Wars using the hashtag Rebels Recon, and we'll answer what we can online. Now, before we go, check out this exclusive clip from our next episode, Legends of Lasai. Oh no, we're too late. Drag those refugees out of there. Move! They're my people. They're the salt. Thanks for watching Rebels Recon. We'll be back next week with another brand new episode. But if you need more Rebels in the meantime, check out our episode guide for the Protector of Concord Dawn only on StarWars.com. And download our app while you're at it. What are you looking at? Oh, hey everybody. It's me, Andy Gutierrez from StarWars.com. Did you miss me? This week, our Rebels met up with a certain princess and future general, and now I'm here to tell you how we brought her into the show. So hold on to your buns. Rebels Recon starts 